Good afternoon, everybody. Anna here. Welcome back to my channel, Vintage Jewelry Galore, or welcome if it's your very first time. Um, and this is a Thrifty Thursday pre-recorded sales video where I offer beautiful jewelry for affordable prices. So I'm going to start showing the jewelry in one minute. Before I start that, let me make mention that um, if you're interested in purchasing a piece of jewelry from me, one or more, please email me at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. If you can include a screenshot um, and a timestamp, I very much appreciate that. If you're not savvy enough to get a screenshot, just the timestamp and then the description of the piece of jewelry. If you use the words that I use when I'm showing the jewelry, I will know exactly what you're talking about because I have it recorded in my notebook as I'm going to name in here. So, um... I don't think I mentioned yet, if you're new, I need your, and you want to purchase, I need your YouTube name, um, your PayPal email address, and the country in which you live, and that is enough to cover it there. Uh, if you do not use PayPal, PayPal, it'll offer you the option of paying with a credit card on that invoice, so you may still purchase even if you do not have a PayPal account. So I'm going to get started here. Typically, I do $10 items is how I've been doing it today. I have three that are $15 because they're higher, you know, um, just because I uh, just, I like to mix it up every once in a while. I have a variety of jewelry here. I have some names, um, and stones, etc. But let me start with this one here. This is a, this is nice. It's gunmetal. Nice. <laughs> Sorry. See, Nice chain link there, um, and this is Loco. I, I do not know the brand. I thought it was Chico's. Actually, I did look it up previously, but I, I can't remember if that's the name of the brand, Loco, or not. But this measures 18 to 21 inches around your neck, and this is three inches down, and it's in good shape. There's nothing missing from it. It is acrylic and rhinestone, glass rhinestone and acrylic. Very lovely, I think. Let me show you the back of it. This is $15. And it's a nice, uh, sturdy statement necklace. Well worth that. So you'll call this the Loco, Loco statement necklace. Next, I have a very, what I consider to be a fantastic Chico's. This is also $15. I call this the Chico circle pendant. These are all glass, I think. <laughs> Glass and some acrylic as well. This one here is acrylic. Um, but there's the back of it. It's Chico's gunmetal. It's it's in nice shape. It looks new. There's the back of it. So for the Chico's, it measures. Um, I'm calling this the uh, circle pendant cheek or just a Chico statement necklace. The only one I have here. It's 19 to 22 inches with a two and one half inch pendant from here down. It's a Nice necklace, especially for that price. Okay, so that's the cheapest. Next for 15, this is the last one. This is a lovely 1920, vintage 1928 barrel clasp, um, faux pearl necklace. It's 1928 brand. These are, those are uh, metal gold tone cat, uh, separators and caps around the bigger pearls. It's lovely. This 1928 faux pearl necklace is measuring 36 inches in length. And it's very elegant and lovely. And it's a steal of a deal for the quality of the necklace. It's very nice. All right, now let me get into the $10 items. These are all $10. I have an Avon convertible, silver tone convertible necklace here. Look at it. It's got one, two, three, four five, six, se six, seven different, seven chains, different size all together. You have, um, here it is. It's hard to show it. Um, <laughs> it's a bracelet and a necklace. Okay. I feel like I'm too close to this or something. So Avon silver tone convertible necklace as a necklace without the bracelet is 18 inches without the bracelet added. Let me show you. You can like just take the bracelet out. So you have a seven inch bracelet alone and 18 inches without the bracelet right there. 
Um, with it added, you know, do the math, 18 plus 7 is what, 25? Yeah, so you would have 25 inches, but it's a little tangled up, but it's a nice necklace. That's the necklace. Like I said, the bracelet is seven inches, has the same number of strands. You can put it together or wear it separate. It's an Avon, it's marked Avon, convertible bracelet and necklace, or just a necklace if you just wanna wear it as a necklace. Okay, so Avon convertible necklace, it's the only one I have. I do have another um, Avon, let me show it. This is vintage, definitely vintage Avon. These are acrylic, I mean, um, enamel-covered metal. It is a brooch and a pendant. Everything from this point on is $10. Like I said, see, there's the pendant piece. There's the pin. It's marked A on there. It's lovely. Blue AB stones. Very lovely. It's a lovely little thing. Okay, so this is a one and one-half inch pendant, and this chain is 24 inches. So you get a vintage... Avon pendant slash pin um, or brooch, whatever you choose to call it, um, for 10 bucks, and it's lovely. Nice uh, antique gold coloring on it of gold, and it's not faded or anything. It's in great shape. 10 bucks for the Avon. Avon flower pin slash pendant necklace, you can call it. It's the only one I have there. Um, I have the silver tone link necklace I'm calling this. <laughs> I think it's cool. It's lightweight. It is metal. And look at the big humongous spring ring on it. Nice cool spring ring on there. And these are boxes. Uh, metal twisted up to form a box. It's a, it's like that's one piece of metal all twisted up to make the box. And then you have two, three of many of them. Different shapes. I call this the silver tone box link necklace um or you can call it so you know it's it's cool but anyways this is 28 inches just call it the silver tone box link necklace humor me okay because they are boxes and they are linked it's shapes it's cool it's got a nice light it's lightweight but it's it's a nice necklace it's um that's one piece there and it goes on i think it's cool okay so there's that Next, I have, I have a Premier Design necklace. This, I think it's nice. Um, they use natural stones in some of their jewelry, but it's a brass finish. And you have halite, tiger eye. These are glass, or we'll call them glass or crystal. That's more halite. This is quartz, I, I believe. I, I honestly, I did test it and I can't remember, but it's nice. And then you have these shapes that are Tiger eye or dyed mother of pearl. I hate to sound stupid, but I know these are tiger eye. Um, all right. Uh, this is 28 inches with a two and one quarter inch extender. It's a nice necklace. It is a premier design stone. That is highlight though. It's definitely not turquoise, but we have tiger eye. And I think this may be dyed mother of pearl and not tiger eye, but the shapes there. It's nice. Still nice nonetheless. Um, I believe that's quartz, but it could be glass. But anyways, it's, it's a Premier Design stone necklace. And they do do stone. I just sold a coral one not long ago called Starburst. Um, I have a Tiger Eye 16 inch barrel clasp. I do this, everything's 10, like I said, from a barrel clasp. Little Tiger Eyes, 10 box at 16 inches. Yeah, it's pretty, it's a nice little Tiger Eye. It's 16 inches with a barrel clasp, like I said. All right, what's next? Um, this is a, I'm calling it a gold tone fold over clasp, okay? It's the only gold tone necklace I have. Look, it's nice shapes and it's nice. It's clean. It's unfaded. What I mean by it is it's unfaded, unscratched. Nice necklace, fold over clasp. It's a nice uh, 18 inches on it. It's pretty be nice uh layered with other jewelry you know this be the main piece that you work around but that's 18 inches and it's a nice necklace it's not very heavy but it's also not so thin that it feels really junky i have a tiny jade buddha <laughs> look how cute he is he's 10 bucks he measures one and one half inches and this cord if you 
do so wish to wear that with it is 20 inches. It's pretty cute. The little Buddha is 10 as well. Everything is 10, so I can quit saying that. All right, um, I already showed that. Mo Monet gold tone chain. This is nice. It has the Monet hang. It does not have a hang tag, sorry. But that's the Monet signature class with Monet written on it. This is 34 inches, and it's in great shape, too. It's nice and unfaded. Un you know, it's good. 34-inch gold tone Monet rope chain. In great shape. I have a nice wooden necklace. I think it's nice. It's all wood. I think I don't think it's Heshi bead either. Heshi, I think that is that's wood as well. It's all wood. It has a barrel clasp. It's a nice necklace though. Nice uh, statement piece, I think. 17 inches. And you have different types of wood on here. That is not turquoise. Uh just wanna let you know. I thought it was when I originally purchased. It's also wood. Probably died. Different types of wood though here and pretty cool. Nice wooden necklace. What's next? Um, uh, I want to do the single ones first, and I'll go. I have some sets. Calling this a brass finish uh, leaf necklace. I don't even know. <laughs> that is a leaf, right? Look, it's pave style rhinestones, different colors there. You have a little string of rhinestones. That's an acrylic piece, but it's cute. These are glass, and so are those glass over there, and a little strand there. It's pretty. Here's the back. It has a lobster claw clasp, and it's nice. It's in good condition. This one here is a, I'm calling the breast finish leaf rhinestone necklace. 18 inches with a 3-inch extender, and from here down is 4 inches. Like the tassel drop from Independent, down to there's 4. So you can call this the breast finish rhinestone leaf necklace. It's a lot of words, so just give me a screenshot if you don't want to go through all that. Um, This is a... This is nice. It's a it's a gold tone with blue rhinestones, blue conch with um shell with faux pearls. This is what the tag is on it. I don't know what that means. It's probably some brand, but it is a spring ring clasp. It's a cute little necklace. Um, it's 18 inches with a two inch extender. I thought it was cute. You know what? It's really weird. Well, whatever. I don't need to get into details of that. Um, some other time. All right. This here, I think this is very lovely. This is a mother of pearl piece painted. Look how pretty. You have seed beads. Like an art glass here. That's not the art glass. Okay, glass. and a... That's acrylic. The black is acrylic. And um, this is black and white seed bead. I think it's nice. I have it kind of tangled up here. <clears throat> there we go. Um, these are the little rings that are like art glass. There are two of them. You have flowers behind them. Everything I look at, I'm like, should I save it for my Valentine's Day? So, But no, this is, this is a nice little necklace. Black and white seed bead, acrylic glass, and a little art glass, and then metal. So the mother of pearl seed bead necklace um is 15 inches with a two inch ex two and a half inch extender and this is two and one quarter inches from here down probably three from there down i think it's really pretty i like these kind of necklaces i i buy them and i can't wear them all all right so now i'm going to show some sets that i have there are three of them and obviously they're 10 bucks as well i have trafari tm white seed beads these are glass there's that and it, it i think there's the marking trafari tm and it's in good shape this is unfaded i think it's just you know it's supposed to be twisted but there we go that's how it is right now 18 inches on the necklace and the little glass seed bead earrings come with it are three quarters of an inch so you have the trafari tm white seed bead it's nice in good shape then I have, um, this is a dichroic glass set. This is glass. It's all, there's the uh, toggle. It has a little ribbon on the top. It's cute. Um, that's amber color, dark amber color glass. And these are dichroic glass. And there are gold toned pieces in there. So there are a number of those. And then I have a bracelet. So the necklace is measuring 22 inches and this bracelet is 8 inches. 
and the same type of thing it matches somebody well actually this does not have a ribbon on it like that does but they match definitely look they are a set this i'm calling the dichroic glass set then i have a blue crystal set this is lovely i think when i picked it up i thought it was really really nice it's gold toned metal silver toned metal and this lovely beautiful shiny blue pieces there oh it's a blue crystal set 19 inches with a two inch extender it is a spring a, a lobster claw class not spring ring and then the bracelet is eight inches with a two inch extender so this has a lot of um possibilities you can even make it shorter if you wanted it's pretty though it's it's blue crystal and look at how lovely that is all right now um there's a lot more there always is um i'm sorry uh let me see all right so let me show this this is snake skin I'm, I'm pretty certain of it i mean at least it feels like it i've had my fill of snakes in my life um when i was a child mainly i don't like them any longer my brother used to capture them but anyway since it's dyed or is there a pink snake i don't know this is a nice bracelet though it's gold tone and it's in good shape probably i need to wipe it down because it's got my fingerprints on it but there's no fading on it that's how it opens and closes closes it is two and three quarter inches across and there's the shape of it i think it's pretty cool pink snake skin bangle all that one okay i love the seed beads this is very pretty designs and it has you see the design on it this is glass pink black white glass this is like a white a silvery white seed bead bracelet could be worn from six to seven and one half inches that's very lovely i think don't you maybe you don't <laughs> it's nice but you know everything's 10 um i have these is this the all-seeing guy i don't know but this is metal silver tone and there are crystals on it there are two that have the eyes on them. These are stretch. I'm doing these all three for 10. They're a great stretch. There's, they're gonna last. They're not like falling apart. And they're cool. You've got the eyeballs on two of them and the crystals and metal on all three. I call them this all seeing eye, all seeing or whatever. Just the eye, eye and crystal bracelets or eye bracelets. There are no other eye bracelets in here. All right, this is a stretch tiger eye. This is nice. Um, tiger eye and the stretch is good on that as well or you could take these pieces and craft them for something for yourself but it's 10 bucks and it is tiger eye and this I offer let me show the rest of the bracelets this is a stone bracelet oh my I gotta find it okay six to seven and one half inches those are stones Look, it's well made. Somebody was quite an artist. I consider this art. I didn't, I don't know the stones. I mean, that looks, it's nice. So six to seven and a half inches and it's pretty wide. I thought it was nice, I liked it. Um, this is a made with love bracelet. This is fantastic, I think. Those are glass rhinestones. These are stones. There's the clasp they put on it. And it has a little tag. It says made with love. That's why I'm calling it made with love. It's really pretty. So this little bracelet is seven and one half inches from the end to end. Those are classy. They don't look like it. Faceted glass rhinestones. And these little pieces are as well. And these are actual stones and they're seed beads. And it's cute. Did I show it well enough? That's the Made With Love bracelet. This is a Toledo wear. Um, it's Toledo wear. Where is it on here? My goodness, gun. All right. Um, anyways, it's it's it has a safety chain. It does not come off. I put it like this, and it's two and one half inches. So this is an average size, and it is a Toledo wear bracelet. I can't find it on my list. Oh, vintage Toledo, where obviously it's vintage. Some of this stuff's vintage, and I may not have said it was. If you know your eye for things, you'll know that. But there, that is a vintage Toledo wear. Um, all right, what else do I have? This is a Liz Claiborne Incorporated. I think this is just a copper finish, but I thought it was nice. 
It's a seven inch bracelet and it has little crosses. It looks like a plus and equal sign kind of going across really, but it's not meant to look like that, but there it is. It says LCI, that's Liz Claiborne Incorporated. That's the back. It's nice and flexible and it's a nice bracelet actually. I don't know if it's real copper, just a finish. I'm thinking it's a finish though. Fold over class, seven inches on that if anybody wants it. Then I have a nice little Premier Design. Uh, this is a seven and a half to eight and a half inch bracelet. It's a little charm bracelet. It has the Premier Design little tag. It's a little engagement ring, a heart, a crown, and a cross on it. Double stranded in it, you know, to, it's, it's metal, obviously. But it has a lobster claw clasp. And that's a little pre Premier Design bracelet. Little charm bracelet, and it's really cute, I think. I like the little ring on it. And there's the Premier Design on the cross as well. Next I have, I have a craft thing here. These are abalone and they're, I don't know if that's a stir, it's a piece in there. I think it's just silver tone, it could be sterling. I don't know, I can test it. But this for craft and I added to it, I know there's like 20, 30 pieces in there of abalone and mother of pearl. I added to it. This says 925, did not test it, but it's a little pendant, mother of pearl pendant. It could be used for crafting or somebody could wear it. And a pair of Mother of Pearl earrings. If I double do them up. I didn't measure this. This is like probably a one and one and one and one quarter inch drop. And this is like one and a quarter inch too. Something like that. I didn't measure them. Sorry. But that Mother of Pearl abalone craft set we'll call it for the normal price of 10. Soapstone. Stone. I believe soapstone fish. Pretty cool if you ask me. Um. It's two inches. It's a pendant. You would tie it down there. Or I don't know what that is in its neck, but there we go. Oh, maybe you tie it there. It was tied on this end. I took the cord off. It looked disgusting, but they're pretty cool. They're two inches. And you tie them right there. I don't know what they mean. Maybe luck or something. Everything seems... Oh, look how cute that is there. All right. So the fish. Two inch fishies. Um... I have this uh, as a tiger eye pendant. It's two inches. It's a big marble. Those are rhinestones. This is silver gold tone. I believe just gold tone, but that big. Lovely mother of pearl marble pendant. It's 10 bucks as well, of course. Um, I have a listener pin, radiant plating. Lisner Vintage. This is two inches. And it's nice. Nice pin for that. If you're collecting jewelry. Vintage. Um, I have cameo earrings that are one inch. These are vintage as well. It is a courting couple. They both have white hair. These look Victorian. I'm not saying they are Victorian. They're vintage. I don't know how old they are. But these earrings are one inch. And... They're not signed as far as I can see. You know how they have sometimes have little signatures early in check. Um, but they're the 10 bucks of anything else. I have this little bracelet. I thought it was cute um, that I put with, um, with this. It's a gold tone lion pin that is one and one half inches. No marking on it, but I put them together. And then a lion button, it looks like somebody crafted this. And you have crystal and glass and brass finish little bracelet that is seven and one half inches. Goes in there to close it. It's a nice little bracelet. So you get both of them if you want them. Just call them the lion set or whatever. Lion bracelet and pin. I thought it was cute. I set myself. I have three telephones. I didn't measure these. I'm not going to them. I'm going these to men's phone accessory set. I They're vintage. We have, I don't know, I, honestly, I don't know what men's jewelry is. I don't wear it and I have no idea. So whatever, you have these two old phones. I think these are tie clips, right? Those two? 
And then this adorable little rotary phone. This pulls out. I don't know what it is. And it hangs off. And I guess this could have been a pendant. I have no idea what this is. It's a little faded there, but it's vintage. And I thought it was cool. And I figured, why not offer something different? Just see if anybody's interested. So the telephone, vintage telephone set. I have a pair of Crown Trafari earrings. These are clips, silver tone. They are Crown Trafari with a maker's mark. These are vintage. All Crown Trafari is vintage. Um, and they are faux pearls in silver tone. And these measure two inches from top to bottom. Crown Trafari faux pearls. I have earrings that are, um, I didn't measure these guys, but these are like three inches or something. These are carnelian, I, I believe, and this is not sterling. But these are artisan type earrings. I have those. I know this is not sterling content. I'm pretty sure that's stone. Can't remember, to be honest. I have those, and I have these that are sterling, and these are missing a stone on them. So I'm pairing these up together. If anybody's interested, maybe they can make something out of them. Pull these apart and take the carnelian off if you don't appreciate the artisan earring somebody made. But the set of these two, these ones are sterling. These ones are not. This one, these, this set is missing the coral piece. Um, I'll do them both for that, for the 10, if anybody's interested. Then I just have these three little charms that I thought were adorable. Um, sorry for the horn, man. <laughs> you hear that horn? Um, this is a heart. It's art. It's glass. Little art glass heart. A beautiful little butterfly on this one. So you get three charms. I did not test the content. I don't think it's sterling. I'm not sure, though. And then just a little piece there. So there you go. It's those three charms as well, if anybody's interested, for 10. So that's it. That's the end of my video. If you're interested in purchasing anything, email me at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. And, you know, tell me what you want. Give me a timestamp, a screenshot, a description so I can identify what is what. I will talk to you all later. Have a good day.